It's Lady D, oh, 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 no, no. It's Lady D, oh, 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 no, no. What's up, D learners? It's your girl, Lady D of D Talford Training Solutions, here today to talk to you about four women who are currently influential in our society. So our mindset and motivation education today is on um, Michelle Obama, Beyonce, uh, the City Girls, Risha and JT, and Cardi B. And the reason we are talking about them today is because they are four very different women, but they are all bosses. They are all running their own lives, doing their own thing, and they are out here um, just influencing society uh, in a different way. Um, so let's think about what kind of woman do I want to be as we talk a little bit about how these women are influencing our society. Now, Michelle Obama says, choose people who lift you up. So... I have um, talked to a lot of uh, females who are in high school and in college right now. And these are really smart women, just like, you know, uh, Cardi B said she did really well in school. Risha and JT were writing lyrics for dudes when they were really young and they were writing um, songs for other people. These women are intelligent. However, when you see them and what sells in their music is um, them talking about, you know, fighting other girls, um, hurting other women if they come near them, taking other women's man, boyfriend, baby daddy, taking money from men um, for different favors, um, even Megan Thee Stallion, you know, what she raps about, what she talks about has to do a lot with, you know, how good, you know, sex with her is people. She wants people to put her on that account. So a lot of younger females are hearing that right now and, and some older women are as well. And instead of their hustle, their grind being more that, you know, um, I go to work, I start my business. It's well, what can I get? What can I get from this man? What can this man give me? So I'm not saying that that's everybody. I'm not saying that that um, a lot of people feel that way or think that way. All I'm saying is think about, is that the kind of woman that you want to be? Do you want to be known for what Cardi B and JT and Risha are known for, which is, you know, stripping, I take money from males. I don't care if you have a boyfriend or that's your man. You better keep him away from me. Now, Cardi B has transitioned since um, she married Offset. And she is, you know, about her baby, about her husband. She still likes to, to junk talk people that hate on her, um, which, you know, anybody can judge that however you want to. But she has changed her image and she is less stripper and more going toward like what Beyonce is, which is a wife and mom who is a bad chick. She, you know, who looks good, who has this persona on stage. Um, we know that when Beyonce is not on stage, she's, you know, home with her kids. We don't see her, you know, out in the streets a lot. Um, pictures of her in clubs, dancing on poles, things like that. So even though um, Cardi B is is transitioning, you know, more to be like a Beyonce type of a woman. Still, when Beyonce is on that stage, she still got on her short shorts. She still got on her cute outfits. She still got her Sasha Fierce persona on. I think that is some of us out here also is that we will have one way of being at home, this meek, modest, quiet person who is supportive of our husband, no matter what happens, no matter what they do. But then we walk out the door and it's all of a sudden a switch just turns on and we become that bad, fierce chick that's on our grind and on our hustle. Again, you can judge that how you want to. You can decide if that's the kind of woman that you want to be. 
Lastly is that Michelle Obama woman, that woman that is highly educated, that has a career, that has a knowledge of her own, that that worked her way into um, what she had, that doesn't talk about taking money from, from her husband or taking money from men or playing men, but supported her husband through a very difficult um, eight years of pregnancy, I mean pregnancy, presidency, um, having two daughters, um, just being an advocate for the things that she believes in. So, you know, you've got all these different women, but you have to choose, you know, which one of these lives you want or where in between. It can't just be that you are going to dance on a pole because how long are you going to be able to dance on that pole? And dancing on that pole what is it going to get you? What is your end game? How long do you really think men are going to give you money and put your name on their account? How long um, are you really going to be able to junk talk other women or even get in fights with other women? We really have to decide who do we want to be? Do we want to be Risha and JT? Do we want to be Cardi B? Do we want to be um, Beyonce? Do we want to be Michelle Obama. And that's not to say that anybody should try to emulate somebody else's life. Just start thinking about in your life, who is your work like? Who is your hustle like? When people see you, what category would they put you in? Somewhere in between, more on the ratchet side, more on the businesswoman side. So think about that as your mindset and motivation education for today. Thank you.